Frankie. Kevin and Frankie Jonas rolling in here now. Hello. Good to see you, boys. Hello, hello, hello. Now, are, are you still getting along? Uh, we're spending time apart for now so we can continue to get along. <laughs> you know, like, like any good relationship. Just in case. Yeah, just exactly. in case. Uh, so Frankie and Kevin are uh, working on Claim to Fame together over on ABC. And, you know, Frankie... I've had a chance to ask Kevin a lot of things over the years. So, Kevin, just hold tight for a second. Let me, I'm just going to sit back. Let me hone in on my man Frankie here. I was Love thinking, it. and Sisney and Tanya, I think you'll agree, mm-hmm. that we need to ask Frankie a few questions oh, about yeah. his brothers and specific questions about his brothers. Uh-oh. Here now we, we go. get some Hot honest feet. feedback, right? Yes, exactly. Ooh. Let's get juicy, guys. <laughs> 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 So I don't think you can rattle Kevin. He's, he's pretty poised. But let's try yeah. this. Um, I'm curious to know, over the years, Frankie Jonas, which of your brothers has the best advice? Who gives the Ooh. best, most thoughtful advice? It's really a thing of they give such different advice. And <laughs> I had to learn the hard way that given the situations I would get myself into, I would need to go to different brothers for different reasons. Okay. You know, if I if I need a forgiving, like I'm here for you, that's Joe. You know, that's Aww. we're joke about it. We're moving on. If I need someone to handle a situation, that's Nick. And if I need like the dad, obviously it's Kevin. Oh, <laughs> oh. What good answer. Daddy, Daddy Jonas. Kevin. Dad. <laughs> you know, it's not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> well, now they're all daddies. I know. All right, listen, Frank. <laughs> Which brother is your favorite? That's easy. Uh, it's um, Joe, the forgiving, let it keep moving on, brother. I think you know, it changes. It changes day to day. Um, it depends on who calls me that day. I think it depends on who's checking in on me that day. Which yeah. brother asks you the most about you and wants to know everything you're up to, Frankie? That is. Honestly, probably Kev, like, because we're so close in proximity and we've gotten to work together now and we're getting like, we now, because this is the only brother that I've worked with individually and most of their social dynamics are worked around a workplace environment. So it feels like Kevin and I are building that sort of like conversational piece that like, I've always been excited to one day grow up and have with my brothers. It's so cute. I know. And your, guys are, your dynamic is really, really funny on the show. Oh, thank you, thank Tanya. You. No, it's super fun working together. Like, it, you know, we do have such an age gap. It's, you know, 13 years, but it is interesting that, like, as you get older, age becomes yeah. Yeah, non-existent, right? Mm-hmm. It shrinks down. So, like, now we can, like, go out to dinner afterwards and, like, you know, hang out and have a beer and talk about what just happened and, like, kind of decompress compared to, like, cool, I'm going to go back to my life over here. And he was still at my, you know, our parents' house. Like it was just different worlds. So like, it was yeah. cool to have like that bond now. And it's, the show is super fun. And the people that we're eliminating and finding out who they are, are, are great. And we'll see. So, you know, Kevin and Frankie were telling me, Susie and Tanya, that they didn't know. They're kind of playing along yeah. in all of this too. It's called Claim to Fame. Kevin, just give everybody the, the idea, the premise. Absolutely. So we put 12 people in a house together and all of 12 are related to a celebrity in some capacity. And I feel like Sisney and Tanya, I feel like you guys would walk in the house and be like, I know you, you, yeah. you, like, you guys would be like, I, I have a feeling though, like, now correct me if I'm wrong, but Tanya or Sisney, I feel like you guys could be the ones like you have a, you have a single friend that like meets somebody and they're like, I can find them on Instagram. And like, and in two seconds that like, yes. you found that person that they just met in line at a coffee shop. Are you I that know. kind of, yeah. I wouldn't admit it, but like yes. No, Tanya, Tanya, Tanya is like, yes, yes, you call me. For sure, I'm that Social, so, social so stalking could be on a resume. 100%. As a yeah, yeah that's definitely more Tanya Thousand, than me. For, yeah, for sure. And But luckily, we that's the whole point of the show. We could, we took away all of that from them. So it made it a lot harder for the contestants to do it. Um, but we didn't know who they were either when we walked in, nor did we find out every single time we had to eliminate, we would be in shock or kind of like I thought so. So it was really it was really fun. So you can see that on ABC Mondays at 10 o'clock. Uh, Frankie, Kevin Jonas working together first time and hosting. How was it to host the show? Frankie? It was such a pleasure. I mean, I've never hosted anything. And as you know, Kevin is a fantastic host. He's, he's, <laughs> he's, he's experienced. He's, he's in the pocket. And so I knew going into it that I was going to have 
someone that I could trust to guide me through it. And which gave me the opportunity to kind of be more of my authentic self and experiment and try different things. And so you see in the show just how different our personalities are, but how much we are benefiting from each other's differences. And Kev. And I'm just trying to be you. Well, listen, I'm just, but I, I'm actually looking at you like, you know, with every year that goes, you're always a good looking dude. But I, I think, thank you. Know, every year that goes by, you're getting better, bro. I mean, <laughs> oh, I'm looking at you fine and wine. I'm actually not <laughs> resentful of it. I'm just like happy for you. But I'm going, you know. what's happening with Kev? Something's happening with Kevin Jonas <laughs> right now. Agree. Wait, you look you agree? buff. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, what are you guys. doing? I appreciate what's it. Um, I, you know, just not a lot to be completely honest with you. I think joy, happiness, gratefulness. Well, like, joy looks uh, good on you. Yeah, sure yeah. does. <laughs> yeah, appreciation. Oh uh, I'll take God. it. You know, it's the best medicine you can ask for. You know, it's truly, I think, I think the best cardio I have is just chasing an eight and five year old around for a lot of my time. So eight and five. That's crazy. I know it's wild. Yeah, it's fun hosting it. I love it. It's something to be do that I've always wanted to do outside of you know my let's call it my day job. <laughs> yeah, um, but right. beyond that. Uh, let's hope it continues and we're having a blast. And Jonas Brothers, for the fans listening now, Kevin, what can you not tell us? Uh, a lot of the same stuff. We are <laughs> still currently finishing the project. Um, it's it's wild. Uh, I think Frankie actually just heard some of it. Uh, but it's so, you're like, it's so not what we expect, right? It's, I think it's everything you're hoping for, but you won't expect what it is. Right. Uh, <laughs> listen. It's beyond. I just heard it for the first time and I'm still shaking as like their number one fan. I oh. got my preview listen and I can't shut up about it. So can you describe it'll be worth the wait. Can you give me if if it if an animal were to represent the sound, oh. which animal would it be? Oh, if an animal was to represent the sound. That's I you know what? Like a golden retriever. <laughs> <laughs> what? Something you feel so comfortable with, but that just feels so perfect that it just fits in your house no matter what you do. Uh, I'm gonna okay. remember this when I hear it. I like it. <laughs> it's a, it's a, the, the album's a great snuggler, you know. Okay. Yeah. Great okay. Yeah. Oh, it's a, it's a spooner, Tanya. It's a cuddler. I like that. There you go. Uh, hey, check out Kevin and Frankie doing Claim to Fame Mondays, 10 o'clock ABC. Boys, good to see you. See you soon. All right. Take Always a pleasure. Good to see you. Always. Thank you guys so much. Ryan, thank you. See you, Kev. Bye. Bye, Frankie. Bye.